Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna be making a copycat, I keep calling it Chick-fil-A, but it is a Panera Bread Broccoli Cheddar Soup. There we go. Super simple, easy ingredients. I guarantee you probably have all of them. If not, you'll need to spend like a dollar to get whatever it is you're missing. It's so easy. All right, let's get into it. Over medium to medium high heat, I have my Dutch oven. I promise nothing is wrong with my Dutch oven. It is just very well loved and I use it for everything. We're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. Then while that's finishing melting, we're gonna add half of a large white onion diced. Then we're just gonna let this go for a couple of minutes, maybe five to six minutes, just until everything is nice and soft and the butter is melted. Looks great. Now we'll add a tablespoon of some garlic as always. Give it a stir, let it hit that butter. Then to make a roux, we're gonna add same amount of flour as we did butter. So I did four tablespoons of butter, so I'm gonna do four tablespoons of flour. This helps give you that like nice, creamy, thick, rich soup. If you didn't wanna add flour, you could just skip it and you'll just have a little bit of a thinner soup, but nothing's wrong with that. And I love that I toasted the butter too, so now we're getting even more flavor. Then to this, we're gonna add 16 ounces, which is two cups of the Smart Chicken Classic Bone Broth. Ideally, you could bring out a whisk and you just wanna smash all of that flourness until you end up with like a gravy consistency and then you can add everything else in. And it really helps to break up the clumps because nobody wants lumpy soup. Then to this, I have, this is a two pound bag, but I'm gonna add one pound of frozen broccoli. I really recommend using frozen for this because in the soup, it's not gonna be tender crisp. It's gonna be like mushy soup consistency. So why go with fresh? And this way you get more for your bang, more bang for your buck. We're also gonna add one, this isn't diced, one matchstick carrot. These matchsticks are equivalent to one carrot. I just sliced them myself, but if you were to buy like salad matchstick carrots, that's what you're gonna want. Then we can season with a teaspoon of some salt, about a half teaspoon of some black pepper. Then you just kind of want to gather everything together. The broccoli, of course, since it was frozen, it's gonna leach out some of that liquid, which is good because that's what you want. Right now we're at pretty thick consistency. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add one more container, which is two cups of some chicken broth. For a little bit of color, I'm gonna add about a half to one teaspoon of some paprika, just to kind of like brighten up that oranginess. Then to that, we're gonna add two cups. This is a mixture of heavy cream and milk. So you can use all heavy cream, all milk, all half and half, whatever you have, just use what you got. Then stir this around. Okay, so this next step is completely optional. I actually just got this like two days ago. I have been wanting one forever. This is an immersion blender. It has like a little blade. So basically think of this almost, it plugs in, but think of it almost like a portable blender. So you're gonna put this in here, kind of swish it around and, okay, whoops, I just hit the camera. You're gonna put this in and just swish it around and this is gonna help blend up the soup so it kind of thickens it a little bit and makes it even more creamy without having to add more cream. But if you did not have one of these, if you wanted to throw it in the blender, you could, or if you wanted to eat it just like this, go for it, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, I finished blending mine, it's pretty good. Now you have like little bits of carrots, little bits of broccoli everywhere. If you did not have an immersion blender, do not go and buy it for this recipe. It is not that crucial. Now, this, I just cut this back. This is eight ounces of some Mexican cheese. You can do cheddar, pepper jack, whatever you have. It's just cheese, except probably not parm because it wouldn't taste very good in here, I don't think. Now, it's important to mention that my heat is off. Whenever you are adding cheese to any kind of dish, you want your heat to be off and you do not want it to be overly hot whatever it is in your pan your pot we're just gonna let it melt and just kind of go in there if it's too hot then you're gonna end up with a grainy dish if you've ever made like a mac and cheese or something and yours ends up grainy and you're like why does it taste like that it's not gonna make the flavor different just the consistency is gonna be kind of grainy and almost like there's sand in it but it's because your heat was too high and this is it you guys know i would love to add like 75 more spices 
but that's it. This is the copycat version. Is this not like absolutely delicious looking?